Hello commanders and welcome in today's episode in the Rise of Austria series. The Brazilian task force in the Mediterranean Sea is finally down as our task force has managed to kill it with the combination of uh, naval attacks and also the conventional cruise missiles. These are the casualties here from the con news. You can see that we killed uh, the whole stack of frigates, cruisers, destroyers. And he also lost one conventional cruise missile. He tried to launch one cruise missile on me, but his actually cruise missiles, they were low level that my cruisers on the air managed to kill it. So yeah, nothing so serious. If he had max level cruise missiles at that time, yeah, we will face such a problem. Here, Syria is still and still sending max level motorized infantry from all the sides. You know, max level infantry, they are, they are very annoying to kill because of their high hit points, of their um, defensive point against aircraft. So it's going to take a while until I finish it all. Uh, Kuba was not actually a problem for me because when I have a decent and strong navy, it's going to be enough to surround him and uh, navally blockade him uh, and destroy him. Today, uh, in today's episode, I'm mainly going to focus on my uh, cleanup versus Syria. And also you can see here that Cuba is uh, building an airfield in Spain. Maybe it's for his allies, not for him, because uh, Brazil and United States of America, they can think of sending their armies to the Iberian Peninsula. So it is going to be a priority for me to head my um, strike wing to that airfield and destroy it, of course. I do not want any airports, any airfields around me here. Uh, if they want to come to me, they will have to sail the Atlantic Ocean. And of course, if they have to sail the Atlantic Ocean, they will have to overcome my navies. Of course, after I killed the Brazilian task force in the Mediterranean Sea, now I am going to close both the Gibraltar Strait, north of Morocco, and also the Suez Canal near Egypt. I'm going to uh, close the two gateways for the Mediterranean Sea like that. At least even if my navies are not going to successfully hold off the enemies, I will receive the notifications that someone is paying us a visit. Like that I will be alerted and they will be ready to take uh, the counter measurements and of course here I'm going to uh, fix my city of Limassol and of course to make the national guards. Uh, it's about time to start uh, taking down the Syrian homeland cities. So, so this is why I will spam national guards in that coastal city near the coast of Syria and I will send the national guards to different homeland cities in Syria. Why I'm going only to send the uh, uh, national guards because well we saw that Syria he throw everything at me he sent all of his armies to my home and cities and he actually uh, I don't think that he will be having any defenses inside Syria because well he knows that my task force is nearby he knows that I will bombard him if he sends me something there so basically I will not expect any land uh, defenses there the 22nd cruiser is going to head to the Gibraltar Strait also, I think that airfield is within my range. I can uh, bombard it. We will see. The National Guard spam has started and now I'm going to fix the rally point uh, in the, on the city of Latakia. So whenever my National Guards, they are ready, they will head directly to Latakia. Here, he still has some uh, motorized infantry in the city of Wrocław. I have a decent amount of anti-missiles here. If anyone thinks about nuking me, my anti-missile systems, they are going to be ready to push off any kind of missiles. The invasion of uh, the United Kingdom is a little bit slow because you know that Cuba has uh, launched uh, a nuke cruise missile on me while I was landing in the city of uh, Edinburgh. Uh, so I only had remaining three around around three national guards there. So yeah, it's going to be a little bit uh, Slow to take down United Kingdom because you know me guys I always keep units in the conquered cities to avoid insurgencies and to avoid the rogue state. I Will get back and recover my city of Kiev Here I will continue scouting the Mediterranean Sea. I'm going to take a route near the city of Tripoli maybe there are some naval ships, naval vessels that are hiding there, so it doesn't harm us to keep scouting and uh, of course have a better vision. 
he is headed to take down the city of Amsterdam, but my uh, Strike Queen is ready to take him down. You see, all my stacks of Strike Queen, they are now quite damaged because of the defense point of the motorized infantries. So, very soon after I push off these threats, these, these Syrian threats, I will send them to my capital to heal. The good thing in Vienna, I have level 2 uh, military hospitals, so my uh, aircrafts, they will heal with 3 hit points per day. Every aircraft is going to heal with 3 hit points per day. So yeah, it's, it's decent, it's good. In one real day, my strike fighters, they will be fully recovered. I'm pushing, I'm trying to push to take down all of Poland now after I obliterated the Syrian armies. Here I will kill these last infantry standing in the city of Kamagwe. Okay, this is perfect. Also, we killed from the notification, we killed the infantry that was advancing to Amsterdam. And of course, you uh, remember that in the last episode we initiated Operation, ba uh, Operation Pegasus. So yeah, my ships, my surface vessels, they are still on the way to the coastal cities of uh, Brazil, uh, like I said in today's episode, I want to mainly focus on the uh, counterattack on Syria and how I am going to push forward to take down uh, the center of Europe, especially this region of Czech Republic and uh, Poland. And of course the invasion of the Iberian Peninsula that is taking ages and ages. I hate this region actually because there are a lot of mountains and you know units in mountains, they are super heavy, super heavy. Landing in the city of Valencia and going directly to Malaga Passing by Zaragoza Madrid has fallen, but my target is this airfield the Cuban airfield here Of course my multi rocket launches they will be there in a short notice time and my mobile sum launches They will be ready if anything is going to be airlifted near that uh, airfield my Sams, they will pick it up. You see, Brazil is still the first one, I am the second one. But there is something weird, boys. I checked China and I see that he is now at peace with the United States of America. This is a huge turn of events, boys, and it's extremely dangerous. What if what happened with Syria and Cuba happens again with China and United States of America? What if China agrees to join the coalition of United States of America and Brazil? And he turns on me. I'm sending him this message to uh, discover his intentions, to see what he is going to say. Um, because I told him that you should use this chance and finish off United States of America. I see that peace is restored between you guys. So I'd like to wait for his reply and see what he is going to say. But I feel and I smell that the same scenario that happened with Cuba and Syria might and can happen again between United States of America and China. What do you think, guys? In the comment section, please give me your opinion about this situation because it's a very important situation that can determine the future of this series because now if actually um, China and United States of America they are going to ally they are going to gather up and attack me this is going to make things a little bit complicated well a little trick here I want to show you guys if you want to gather intelligence on your enemies don't don't plant your intel spies in his capital or in any of his homeland cities. You know why? Because uh, I expect my enemy to plant counter ops in his capital, of course. So I do not want my spies to be intercepted. But what is the best alternative to gather intel but do not use his capital? Plant your intel agents in concrete cities so far from his homeland cities. He will not plant counter ops everywhere. Thank you guys for watching today's episode. We are going to meet in the next one.